Mount Kailash is not a destination, it's a journey. Mount Kailash is also known as home of God Shiva. Mount Kailash is a hero of mythological legends and an ultimate spiritual destination. One of the world's most sacred holy place located in Western Tibet. It is standing at the altitude of 22,000 feet where thousands of pilgrims and adventure lovers do the Kailash Manasarovar tour every year. If you are preparing to travel to Mount Kailash, you are kindly requested to be fully aware that it is really demanding tour where you will be spending most of the time at high altitude. Basic fitness is required to complete this trip. While on the tour, you cross some of the most stunning landscapes, peaceful mountain towns, unique mountain terrains and high passes. A thrilling yet exhausting trail, you climb to an important milestone of the route. The Derapuk is worth every ounce of energy spent to the hike. You can experience breathtaking views of the first rays of the sun touching the peak, Mount Kailas painted gold, often called the Golden Kailas. The Manasarovar is the highest freshwater lake in the world, at the altitude of 14,760 feet, and it is the foot of holy Mount Kailas. Pilgrims take a holy dip at this lake as it is considered one of the holiest lakes in Asia. The trip to Kailash can be started from Lhasa or any other border entry points of Nepal or India, even from mainland China. Today I am answering some of frequently asked questions by the travelers. Number 1. How many days are required for Mount Kailash trip? A minimum of 10 days trip from Kathmandu to Kathmandu by land. As there are a few alternative routes, some are a bit longer and some are a bit shorter. As a travel agent, I recommend you to choose a drive in and out from Kathmandu as a better option. Number 2. What about Tibet visa and permit? Yes, a visa and permit is must for the Kailash tour. As per the latest rules, you have to be in Kathmandu for 3 working days for the visa and Tibet permit process. We need to submit your original passport to the Chinese embassy. After all paperwork finished, you may begin your trip to Kailas on day 4. While staying in Kathmandu, you may do some sightseeing tour around. Number 3. What is the best time to travel? The best time to travel is April to September, as the weather is clear and less chilly during the day. The visibility is good while the temperature is bearable during the day but at night it falls below the freezing point. Hence, warm clothes are suggested and proper acclimatization is necessary for the preventing altitude sickness. Number 4. How difficult is Kailash Manasarovar trip? Kailash Yatra is not difficult, but challenging. One has to tolerate freezing temperature, high altitude pressure, and miles of walking. However, once you are in the area of the Supreme God, you got the strength to endure miles of walk on the rough paths, harassed temperature and the cold nights. Lastly, you don't need to worry because our experienced team on the trek will look after you in every situation. Number 5. How long does it take to finish the circle of Mount Kailash? Inside 10 days trip, only 3 days. 53 km you will be walking to make it circle of Mount Kailash. Rest of the journey by driving. We believe that the journey of 53 km washes away all our sins. While on the trek, you will come across various gorgeous landscape, mountain towns, mountain terrains, and high passes. Number 6. What is the age limit for Kailash Manasarovar trip? If you are anywhere between 18 years to 70 years, you are qualified for Kailash too. However, older people need to be medically fit to trek on such a high altitude. Number 7. Can I travel to Mount Kailash by myself? According to Chinese regulation, individual travel to Kailash is not allowed. You have to take a part in an organized group tour or customize your Kailash tour with a local travel operator. Number 8. Accommodation and food on the tour. The accommodation while on 3 days trek is basic guest house with dormitory bedrooms. No attached bathroom, 
but outside bathroom are acceptable. No shower facilities and etc. Although some of the guest houses are pretty good, these are fully booked most of the time. If you confirm your trip in advance with us, we will be able to provide better accommodation for you. The guest house provide basic local food like momos, noodles or any Tibetan authentic cuisine. But other days starting and ending part of the trip can get better accommodation and food. For more queries, please contact us. Contact details in the description. See you in Kailas. Namaste.